remember the types of essays that we studied in the first term have they were two types of writing. The first one was narrative writing and the second one was informative writing. This term inshallah we're going to deal with the persuasive essay or persuasive writing. Okay, bye. Who can tell me what the meaning of persuasive? Huh. Do you know? Excellent, I can hear you. Persuasive means to persuade someone with your point of view. Okay, so the definition or uh, the meaning of persuasive essay is that it is the essay that is used to convince or persuade someone or the reader to share your opinion or to take a particular action. It means what? It means that you have a point of view. Okay, and I want to convince the reader, the one who is reading my essay, with my point of view. That's why I use that persuasive essay. Okay? So here we have the word that persuade, persuade, the verb persuade. P is to put an interesting and strong topic sentence. I have to start my essay with a strong topic sentence. This topic ten sentence, do you remember? Where should I put it? Excellent in the intro, in the introduction of my essay. But before the introduction, I have something, which is that in the middle of the line, which is that super students, it is that title. So I have to start my essay with that title, then the introduction. And this introduction should start with the topic sentence, okay? E is to express a strong point of view or reason one will help you to persuade. I will move from the introduction into my body. This body can be a paragraph, two or more, or three or more than this, okay? But in each paragraph in my body, I have to have a reason. I have to support my topic with the reasons, okay? Support with details. Each reason that I will write in my body should have its details to also support my point of view. Okay, you is to use more reasons and it is much better, of course, to use more than one reason. A, to have this opposite point of view. If you have a different point of view that your friend or anybody told you about before, you can involve it into your essay and try not to convince the reader that the other point of view is not correct and your point of view is the correct one. D is to deliver your essay with formal language. E, and a strong uh, in a strong conclusion, I have to write a very good conclusion to conclude my essay. So again, how do I write a persuasive writing? Start with the, in the middle, title. Excellent. Then I move from the title to the introduction. This introduction should start with the strong topic sentence that will attract the reader, that will let them read, want to read my essay. Then I move from the introduction into the Super, the body, this body should include a reason or a reason or more than one reason. And after each reason, I have to have details to support this reason. And finally, I come with the conclusion to conclude my essay. Much better to start your conclusion with, finally, to sum up or to conclude. Okay? Yes. I've prepared a topic for you as an example to show you how do I write the persuasive essay. Okay? Oh, before I write the essay, my students, I have to draw a graphic organizer to make it easier for me to write down notes in this graphic organizer. Then I take these notes to write down my essay. The first box of, in the graphic organizer is the box of the topic sentence. My topic today is about dogs. Okay? Why should we keep dogs going? Why should we get dogs as pets? Why do dogs are better, and better than any other pet from my point of view. It's important to get a dog that suits you. Okay, do you know what does it mean? We have different dogs, okay? Many, many types of dogs. But I have, when I want to get a dog as a pet, I have to get one that suits me, that is good with me, that I can deal with in a good way, okay? This is my topic sentence. Of course, you will, be, you will take this topic sentence and you write about two or three more sentences. Okay, don't write only as an introduction. Okay, so it's going to be the first sentence in my introduction. Reason one. Now I move to the body. Okay, reason one is people should get get dogs. Why? Here I have to ask myself why. Okay. 
to answer my question why I have to write the, the details to support my reasons. You remember? Details support my reasons. Those are good companions. Companions means friends or colleagues or someone that can help me. I had a dog. It was my friend. It made me and my family laugh. When I played music, it tried to sing. So all of these details supported my reason, which is that the people should get dogs because so and so and so. Okay? The second reason that I have here is dogs help you improve your personality and knowledge to improve your knowledge also. How or why? This is the reason. And when I say why, I have to write the details. My dog helped me to improve my personality by making me open-minded. Okay? I didn't know that dogs need many things to be satisfied. Okay? So here now I have how did it improve my knowledge because I want to read more. What do dogs need from me? Okay? To let them satisfy or make them happy as a pet. The third reason is dogs need too much care. Why? Again and again. The details here answers me. You have to feed them and take them for walks. Okay? So this is the care that I meant here. By doing this, uh, I've done with the introduction. Of course, with two or three more sentences you can write. And this is my body. You can write it as one body, including the three reasons with their details. Or much better to write each reason with its details with more sentences up from your mind. Okay, in a separate paragraph. So I have here in the body three paragraphs. Okay, finally I come with my conclusion. I think that everyone should have a dog because they may improve your life. This is from one point of view. Okay, so I will start my conclusion in the essay. I have tried finally. I think everyone should have a dog because they may improve your life. Of course, you can write more than uh, what I wrote here. Okay, this is my graphic organizer for the topic that I chose to write about, which is pets or dogs as pets. Okay, I want to, uh, to write down uh, and, uh, your own essay, but before you write the essay, you have to do the hmm, graphic organizer about the topic that I will tell you about. Okay, our homework is the booklet page 107. We have in this box. Uh, three sentences. I wanted to write down about the first one. Which is better? Watching a movie at home or watching it in a movie theater and why? Okay, again and finally, I want to revise the tips of uh, how do we write the persuasive essay. I will start with the title. I move up to the introduction. This introduction should start with a strong topic sentence. Then I move from the introduction into the body. This body should have and super uh, reason or more and each reason should be followed by its details. Finally, I come with the conclusion to conclude my essay. Don't forget to start your conclusion with the finally to sum up or to conclude. And thank you so much. We'll see you next time, inshallah.